Hello and welcome to the segment Quick 10. My name is Asim Khan. Let's have a look at today's top stories. Congress leader Shashi Tharoor said that the demolition drive in Delhi's violence hit Jahangirpuri area was illegal, arbitrary and unconstitutional and called it a new technique of intimidation which could take the country's image downhill. He said, India's image is going downhill around the world. Everything I hear from my friends abroad is deeply negative. We are being identified with minority persecution and Islamophobia. We at one point used to be respected for our democracy and diversity. He said BJP is responsible for this. The Supreme Court will hear petitions filed against demolition drives in Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh while hearing the case against the demolition in Delhi's violence hit Jahangirpuri. Senior Congress leaders P. Chidambaram and Kapil Sibal today hit out at the targeted bulldozing of the alleged illegally constructed shops and houses in the violence hit area of Delhi's Jahangirpuri. Kapil Sibal, appearing for the petitioners, says extra legal punitive measures are being used. One particular community is being subjected to bulldozing. Encroachments are happening across the board, not limited to any community. This is not a forum for politics. We need this code to tell the world that the rule of law prevails. According to the Union Health Ministry data updated today, with 2,380 new coronavirus infections being reported in a day, India's total tally of COVID-19 cases rose to 4 crores 30 lakhs 49,974, while the active cases increased to 13,433 and the number of the death climbed to 5,22,062 with 56 fresh fatalities. Time to mask up again in Delhi, as Delhi Disaster Management Authority has reimposed a fine of rupees 500 for ditching the face cover amid rising COVID-19 cases in the national capital. The decision was taken at the meeting of DDMA yesterday, where the authorities expressed concern over rising cases and said there was a need to keep a close watch since there are initial indications of the B110 and B112 variants in the population. These variants are known to be more transmissible. Bollywood superstar Akshay Kumar has apologized for endorsing a tobacco brand and announced that he will step back. The Bollywood superstar issued a statement on Twitter in which he said, I am sorry, I would like to apologize to you, all my fans and well-wishers. Your reaction over the past few days has deeply affected me, while I have not and will not endorse tobacco. I respect the outpouring of your feelings in light of my association with Vimal Ilaichi. With all humility, I step back. Today, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson arrived in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, commencing his two-day visit to India. On the first day, he visited Sabarmati Ashram and tried his hand at spinning the charkha, and major investment announcements are expected between India and UK during this visit. Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, Kristalina Georgieva, has said that a high growth rate for India, as projected in the latest World Economic Outlook, is not only healthy for the country, but also positive news for the world. President Joe Biden will deliver an update on the Russian invasion of Ukraine today, as he works to complete a new arms package for its military. In a miraculous incident, an 11-year-old boy survived a landslide in the Philippines by taking refuge in a refrigerator for around 20 hours. He suffered a broken leg, but the official said that he is conscious. Well, this concludes today's segment. For more updates, keep watching BBN News Channel and do like, share, comment and subscribe. Goodbye.